If you ever pictured yourself standing boldly on the surface of an asteroid, like Bruce Willis in Armageddon, maybe think again. Asteroids have very little gravity for a start, and if you picked one like Bingyu, you'd sink just like in a ball pit. NASA's OSIRIS-REx sample collection didn't encounter a solid surface, but a loose collection of debris, according to new research. NASA's OSIRIS-REx studied this celestial body for 505 days and even flew down to its surface to collect a sample. But the collection went a bit too well. It appears that its collecting arm penetrated about half a meter, 1.5 feet, into the asteroid within seconds of touching down. It turns out that the particles making up Bennu's exterior are so loosely packed and lightly bound to each other that they act more like a fluid than a solid, mission scientists said in a statement. The spacecraft risked being swallowed whole by the asteroid as it collected the sample. As OSIRIS-REx touched the ground in October 2020, pebbles began flying about. The timely ignition of its thruster kept it safe and led to the creation of a puzzling large crater 8 meters, 26 feet, across. By the time mission scientists fired sampler spacecraft's thrusters to leave the surface that was still plunging into the asteroid, images taken during and after the sample collection descent, together with hundreds of simulations, revealed that Bennu is a lot less solid than previously expected. And this finding might have important consequences for planetary defense strategies. Bingyu is a near-Earth object that might impact Earth next century. Given how loose it is, the effect of the atmosphere would be different compared to a more solid asteroid. OSIRIS-REx will deliver its precious sample to Earth next September and will then continue towards another dangerous object, asteroid Apophis, which it will reach in 2029.